Well, they just took away the first 100 milliseconds of the visible thing, but like, that's gonna take like a week to get used to, not even. That <laughs> 16 damage is so funny. Man, I can't believe it hit me. I was gonna zone attack. People just turtle me in the TG when I use Shigo Highlander. Yeah, I mean they can, that's the thing. Everything you do is still reactable. So, uh... Round two. They're gonna have to find something to do. I hope, I hope they actually, you know, do something interesting with these characters, not just slap damage back on them. The damage definitely would be nice to have back, but I'd rather not have the damage and kind of just fit in with everything. It's actually better to go for the offensive uh, heavy in testing grounds. Nice. What go one good thing about uh, the changes, though, on the heavy finishers having uh, not so much of a recovery is uh, you actually are positive on uh, on block. So you finish the heavy and they try to do something like you can usually hit them before they hit at you. This is why I was able to catch him on that uh, dodge forward. It's pretty nice. See that? Of course, that's not going to be something that always works, but I like I like their use of frames. They're really nice. Highlander needs better. Uh, super armor activation. It comes out way too late, even on chained heavies. It's really bad. Like it doesn't come. It doesn't come out until. The sword's coming down. That's terrible. What do they do to Highlander this time? I mean, this is just a testing ground, so it's not that big of a deal. But uh, the changes definitely didn't benefit him as much as they benefited other characters. And they it hurt him a whole lot more than it hurt other characters. So, uh... Hopefully, uh, there's some, uh, Victory. more that comes with it. I'm about to get destroyed. <clears throat> Berserkers, they have such a benefit. Is the damage nerf noticeable? It's probably the most noticeable in the game. What's your workout routine? I'll talk about it later. Right now, I have to focus on killing this Berserker. Round one. Ask me when I'm in a long queue, Stone Claw. But uh, Berserkers, their damage barely changed. Uh, it, it feels like it's higher somehow, but it's only in comparison to everybody else. They have a very unreactable offense going on, which is really cool. I like it. The only problem is they're one of the few characters that has it. Luckily, it seems like this guy's not the most skilled Berserker main. His heavy attack does 28 damage. Mine does 28 damage. 29 damage, sorry. I do one more. I do one more damage than Berserker. Let that sink in. One more damage. What's the nerf from yesterday's patch? Uh, it's in the testing grounds. He does 14 damage lights. Mine do 13 damage lights. Yep. His unreactable, fast, super armored lights. Twelve damage. 
Jesus. I can't. He has the 36 damage finisher with super armor. I can't even out trade him. It was already pretty hard to out trade him, but now he actually does more damage than me. Berserker out trades Highlander. <laughs> Easily. Doesn't even have to try. If you try to throw out your second heavy and he's in the middle of his combo, which he can start at any time with super armor, he just has to throw two attacks and boom, he wins that trade. You cannot out trade Berserker. Nice. Everyone, please voice concerns to you. Be say no about these Highlander changes. This is a rep five Berserker, and I'm actually struggling a bit. Imagine against the Berserker that you know really played Berserker. Nice. Good fight. Good fight. I feel like defensive top heavies are 24 damage sometimes. The heavy finishers are 24 damage, and they're 28 damage on the uh, openers, and they're 29 damage on the side heavies. I don't know. I don't know why side heavies now do more than top heavies. I don't know. Uh, I'm guessing everything just kind of got put in a graph, and then automatically switched to a new number. But I don't know why they would just do that and think that's okay without actually going through and saying, okay, this does this much, this does that much, this does that, you know? I feel like it wouldn't take long to go through every character, do like all six of their attacks, and then be like, okay, these numbers seem good, type of thing. So even though the game is heading in the right direction, Highlander is headed Round one. in a wronger direction. Feels bad, man, sadness. I like the testing grounds, though. In I do like though how in the testing grounds everything feels a little bit smoother on terms of how long you survive since everyone generally does less damage except like the Joker. <laughs> I feel like even though I'm getting hit by heavies it's not the end of the world. I got, I got hit by two heavies there and look at my health. Chilling. He gets hit by two heavies. Oh, no, he didn't. So that's something I like. Uh, that stamina cost is horrible. Yeah, they messed up the stamina cost for Highlander in offensive stance. They didn't really uh, change it, essentially. So they have to tweak a few things with that. I'm really kind of, I'm hoping these generally positive changes aren't irreversibly tied to this Mongo Highlander nerf because he wasn't in a great spot before the changes, exactly. Sad Dunma Glass noises. Mm -hmm. You want to see what happens if you get parried in offensive stance? Look at my health. Oh, look at my stamina. I'm down to a quarter. I lost 75% of my stamina getting parried once. Pretty bad. Molly, say something in chat. Why? How does Hito Light look after the heavy? It looks good. It's fast. 
you only get the, the 300 millisecond uh, indicator for it, so it's nice. Or 400 millisecond or whatever. Good fight, good fight. Mully is the type of streamer I would show my grandma. Hey, look, this is what streaming is. <laughs> the one time I start <laughs> going off on somebody. F you and your grandma. He's like, what? Your grandma's like, what? <laughs> nah, but but seriously, Round uh, the, the overall underlying changes are solid, but there is a lot, a lot, a lot that needs to be tinkered with to kind of get things where they need to be. Also, Jormungandr is like chilling with these updates. Everyone thought Jormungandr wasn't going to be like nice with these updates. My dude is chilling, bro. Like straight up. The more believable feints are nasty. The faster, uh, the faster light attack finishers. Ugh. I want to know <coughs> if getting Ugh. oh what the where'd my head go oh head where are you round two uh spaceman 100 percent it does I don't think they did anything with offensive stance uh stamina changes you see, there's no way I could have predicted that, or there's no way I could have uh, reacted to that. That was all read based or prediction based. And that's kind of what they want, you know? Dang it, bro. Dang it. Yorm, like, Jormungandr could be really aggro. He doesn't lose, like, any stamina from all the miss. Round three. All the feints and the misses and stuff like that. I feel like Jormungandr is up there with uh, Berserker when it comes to, like, really feeling the changes in a positive light. I'm really sick of stamina being like stunted though when people press something. Like I don't want to like get past and my stamina be stuck for like three seconds. It's kind of dumb. Like look at my stamina. It just won't go back up. Like I just feel like that's really dumb. Anyone hyped for Overwatch 2? I thought that already dropped. Ubisoft not even aware of Highlander's existence. I don't know. The only thing I blame, the only thing I accuse Ubisoft of is not understanding what's weak and what's strong in their own game. Dude, I cannot. I cannot, bro. He was able to do so much and he still had stamina. Holy. Did you see that? Oh my gosh, my dude just didn't stop going. I love it, but like, dude, where's mine? Like, I want to do that. <laughs> Round five. Oh yeah, Gladiator is in a really good spot right now. Look at him go, oh my gosh. He doesn't have to think. What's up, girl, boss? Dang it. Good fight. That was close.
Glad is still squishy AF, which is fair, IMO. Victory. Yeah, good fight. Round I mean, one. I think Shinobi with the damage changes is, is kind of solid if you understand how to play Shinobi well. I think it's going to really benefit uh, the character, but... I know that your zone attack. Oh, 27 damage. Oh, oh only eight damage on the uh, toe poke. Oh, 27 damage parry punish on anything. Wow, that hurts. That's that's more damage than my my heavy finisher, by the way. Oh, 27 damage punish again. Oh. And it's cancelable. Oh. Isn't Yorm gonna struggle with the, the stam changes? I don't think so. Oh. oh, I lost so much stamina. It bothers me that, uh, oh. Oh. Ooh, I'm so good. Man, I need a little bit more stamina. Dang it. If I had a little bit more stamina, I could have won that. They didn't do anything with the Highlander offensive stamina tree. Like, I still take up so much stamina to do anything. They only did like regular attacks, like light attack, heavy attack, zone attack. Like, dude, that's not Highlander, bro. Look at that, dude. Look at my stamina. Wait, he can get a heavy into a zone attack. Oh. What the? That was fast. He just did like, you know how Highlander has kick in the kick? He did toe stab and a toe stab. That was fast. What up, Snarkinator? My day's going good. Two damage for each individual toe that is stabbed. Lol. This is someone who doesn't play Gladiator, and I can tell by what they're going for. I can only imagine when, like, a Gladiator champion hops on it. Woohoo, dude. My dude's gonna be nasty. What's up, Doc? Oh, man, I thought it, was gonna, it wasn't gonna kill for a second. I was gonna be so upset. I couldn't take that trade. I can't trade anymore with Highlander. Unless it's on a light attack. It's not worth it. Uh, oh, yeah! 